Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. Today's budget PC venture involves installing this EVGA RTX 3060 graphics card into this beefy Lenovo ThinkStation P520 workstation PC. I've already done a review of the P520 in two videos, so I won't spend too much time going over the innards of this case. Check out one of those videos, I'll link them in the description below for way more detail. Looking like it belongs. So this version of the 3060 by EVGA of course has the 12GB of GDDR6 memory. There's also a boost in clock speeds. And as noted by the Tech Power Up website, a boost in theoretical performance. For the CPU, we have an Intel Xeon W-2135 with six cores and 12 threads, with a base frequency of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost speed of 4.5 gigahertz. And there's 64 gigabytes of Samsung branded 2400 megahertz ECC RAM installed. Right below this heatsink here, Windows 11 is installed on a 512 gigabyte team group MP33 NVMe solid state drive. And there's an extra NVMe slot right there. I also installed this 160 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive just for some extra storage space. And there's a Delta Electronics 690 watt power supply. Just to go over the cooling, there's one 90 millimeter air intake fan right here. one 90 millimeter air exhaust fan and the tower style cpu cooler also features the same size fan so i have what i'm considering a more basic install for p520 pc definitely take a moment to go check out my other videos on the p520 or look up their product specifications to see what kind of customization you can fit into this case be it for gaming workstation editing video editing or running a home server nas or plex server there's a lot of different possibilities with this thing the front I.O. features a microphone and headphone jack, 4 times USB 3.2, one being always on, and an SD card reader. Of course, the optical drive if you do have a use for that. The rear I.O. on the motherboard features a mouse and keyboard PS2 port, 4 times USB 3.2, 2 times USB 2.0, an RJ45 Ethernet port, more audio jacks. And the 3060 features 3 times DisplayPort 1.4a and one times HDMI 2.1. Let's take a quick moment to see how this performed with video rendering in DaVinci Resolve 19. Now for video encoding test using Handbrake. For my own personal casual workflow, that would be perfectly fine. So that's about all I'm going to cover before we transition to the gameplay footage. Again, I do encourage you to go check out more of my P520 videos, check out the product specifications on the Lenovo website, or see what other people have to say about this versatile workstation. I'm actually really pleased with the performance of this CPU and GPU combo. I could definitely see myself using this if I wasn't going to be listing it for sale. As always, thanks a lot for watching my video and hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in a comment below if you're using a P520 in 2024. Have a good day.